Hello everyone, it's Rita here, and I thought I'd work on the uh, Trash to Treasure journal, junk journal, and um, this is going to be a giveaway, which I usually do with my trash uh, journals. So um, we won't have a drawing until I finish and do the flip through, and then I'll uh, you guys can comment, and um, then we'll see who the winner is, okay? So... I'm not sure what to do because I don't have a lot in my head right now for designing or creating, I guess. I just kind of feel like it's not there. But I need things in here. So, well, let's do this first. I I found this because I pulled this off the book when we um, when I made, ripped it just so I could take it and turn it this way. It was down the spine like that. So I thought, well, it would be kind of cool to use this, but it's obviously too long, and I don't think it looks good sideways. Um, so I've already got this on there. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not, uh, I'm not crazy about that. So I thought I would just, I wonder if I could rip this. I might, yep. Because it would look cool if it's ripped. So I was thinking of doing something like, I would like that candle to show, and I want the ladies and I want this to show, so that's kind of what I'm looking at now. Okay, so I could go up that far, it's hard to tell where the end of the book is. Let me see here. Let me see if I can just rip a little bit of away from this edge without ruining it. They're so brittle. Just because I would like the whole candle to show. And her face also. Yeah, I kind of like that. Um, I don't know if it needs something else. Hmm. Well, I'm going to go with that right now. Um, I think I'll use fabric tack to glue that down. So I hope everybody's doing well. And off to a good day or evening, whatever time you're watching. And I appreciate um, all your comments. It seems so quiet in here. I don't know why. I hope that's about right. One good thing about the fabric jack is I can move it up a little bit. It's, fabric tack is so cold. <laughs> Gives me chills. I'm freezing. I think uh, the older you get, uh, you just get colder and colder. I used to have a hard time with my mom being cold all the time. I don't know where this was, but I'm going to go up with it. I can't ever remember where I was going to lay down something. Okay, so... That's that, and that gets that back in the book. Um, maybe I could, um, yeah, I don't know. I, maybe it doesn't need anything. I'll come back and take a look. Okay, so as I was going through the pages, <clears throat> I needed a little pocket for an, a little uh, thing here. And uh, one of my subscribers, Alicia, said that because this is um, like it was a pocket, the way I made it, uh, Shabby Dabby Doodah made these, and I can't remember exactly how. I'd have to go watch her video. But I could have glued it half on the front and half on the back, and I would have had two pockets instead of just this one. So let's see. I'm thinking... Um, These are just um, some of the spare 
Yeah, I don't really need that one. Something going this direction would be good. Let me see if something's stuck in there. Cause, yeah, I can tell now it is. Okay. doesn't quite fit. So, let me ink around it. I have I had a couple tips in my head for the set for after the video or before the end. I'm trying to think what was it? I'm sure I'll think of it. I wrote it down, but I wrote it down in a different room. Help, doesn't help me to be in here and have my little notebook in another room. It's hard to come up with tips. I didn't realize that it would be, you know, that difficult. I'm just going to fold this in half. Just because I think it would look cuter that way. All right, so that little pocket's filled in this card here. I'm not sure yet to do that. It and I like this little notebooky thing that I made, just out of little scraps. Okay, this would be nice with something. Um, I have I brought out some stamps, thinking that I might just stamp a, on a few pages. This is splatter stamps. I guess that might look okay if it's if I stamp it in like brown. I don't think I've used these. Oops. Um, I don't know. That does not look like a splatter. Okay. archival anymore. I'm out of it and I'm oh, darn. Whoops. Oh. Everything's falling. I it's such a mess in here. I and I spent most of the morning just trying to organize, clean up. And um I didn't get very far. Because I'll be doing something, and then something else will come up. So it's going to test this. Just test it on this. I just want to see how strong of a... Hmm. It's kind of dark, darker than I wanted to. going to use let's see if I have a darker no I'm just going to stamp it with this That's fine. It just gives it a little extra. Okay. So here I have this one with the photograph, and I thought it might be just kind of cute. I've got these um, toppers from uh, Tim Holtz stuff, and I thought I could just cover it, and we could put it there as just a little tab, maybe put a tie out. And then just um, do some collaging down here. So I have this um, 
um, piece of piano paper that I do want to glue down there. So let me um, put my glue stick here, which is almost empty. This is so fragile, these, um, these papers. And I'm going to glue something else on there too. Papers don't come with the edges torn. I have to tear them. Now yeah, let's see, not maybe not to cover the I'm just gonna add papers to it. I'm not gonna try to figure out what goes where. I mean the obvious stuff, yes, but okay. And let's see what else can we put. I like this stuff. goodness <laughs> just kept moving on me all right I'm gonna go up to the edge of that okay then I think I'll put a little bit of script on um, I had a little tiny um, script And I think I better use black because it won't show up the green. Can you see me okay? I hope so. This is the one that has the pictures of my cousins in there. So let's cover that little guy here. So cover it with something plain. Something with the design. I think I'll do design because the plane I can use. Um, okay, I'm just going to glue this down on this paper. It's almost impossible to get these little um, cutouts done, so I'll just use a different. I did that backwards. Bold was going. To, oh my goodness! It doesn't matter, I guess. This 
area up here. I guess that's the right way to fold it. it. Um, where is it? I only have like, I don't know how many boom folders in this can't find them. Okay, I'm going to use that punch. I don't know what you call it, but um, okay, I guess it doesn't matter. I don't think I want to go that far down. I can't see the making a mark where the center of that was. Okay. It's not quite the center, but it's okay. So if I put this on here, and maybe just have a piece of um, tape coming out, but we need to do something to the back. So, I wonder if I want to do another pocket like here. All right, let's, let's um, cover this. This would be a good journaling spot. Journal on this paper. Okay. And I think I'll I'll do some here. The part that shows out there. if I rip it all. Go get my nails done. They're growing out. So 
sometimes I don't think that they, um, when they do your nails, they don't, they don't push the cuticles in the uh, back like they did in the old days. You know, you could go almost, I don't know, a month at least without getting your nails done. But now they just go right, you know, to the top of the cuticle and then if you say something, they look at you like, what? What are you talking about? Okay, so that's good there. That'll be a decent little backdrop for journaling on. Need a new glue stick. Let's get my. I don't think I can get this one. I found this one, but oh, wait a minute. I was going to use it up. I bought this it was really expensive um who was it that used to use it um julie at what is her name of her camellias yeah camellias crafts And um, yeah, it was expensive, and I, I only bought one, but then I went back to my other glue stick. My eyes are so bad. Okay, so now this part we can glue on does have some more oh I was gonna put something up here at the top across um, I need to ink this a little bit I don't know if I've got enough on there find something just to kind of um, maybe some of that I'm sorry to reach up where did it go everything but what I want I think I tore off a little of this so I can just find a small part and glue it up there and wrap it around. I think I'm going to go I was talking to my friend yesterday and you know we're talking she just turned 80 so talking about old age that's all we ever talk about anymore is aches and pains and age <laughs> it's like and what we don't want to make for dinner so um, she was talking uh, I, I was saying you know I have so much clutter I have never been like that. I've always been one to put it away. And um, she said the same thing. She says, I have clutter everywhere. It just is overwhelming. I was thinking that maybe look better over here on the side. What do you guys think? I kind of 
like it on the side, honestly. I think I'll put it on the side, but I don't want to put it here because, but in here we could put it right here. All right. that would cover this little edge up too a little bit that where the paper was shiny shiny paper in there okay now it would be kind of going cool to have an image there um, or label maybe so have rusty paper clips that might be some fun to put on get to use these very often. These are ones I made a while back. brads with they look like buttons but they're too big for this Tim Holtz brads. I can't even see them. That's how tiny they are. I mean, they're supposed to have like uh, I would they're like little screw heads. And I had no idea they were going to be that tiny. And that one's like okay, so but, and now I'm not sure they would even show up on the corners. Hmm. Or the little brass ones. I don't know. Those ones are too big.
I'm sorry. I was, you know, this is just something I have that I just have to go with the flow. I, ha I can't pre-plan this kind of stuff. I don't know, that looks too dark. But do I want bright? Alright, let me punch. Let's see if this will. Um, let's see if I use that edge there. That'll give me using the edge of the the punch to guide me so that'll be kind of even. These are definitely going to be too small. So I thought I would try the gold. Yeah, they don't look vintage. I probably could go over them with alcohol ink or something, but I'm just going to use these. Well, this one, it looks like I've already inked over these. They're kind of a <clears throat> I have my head right in the middle of the to see what color they are. weren't really very um, they weren't very centered oh well I'm trying to get them to one somewhere on the floor. I don't think I have cutters to cut that. I can get them off to the side. That's good. Okay. fabric tack. All that for one little element. 
but you know that's what makes it I guess right otherwise it would be just plain okay when you go flipping through it you're gonna say oh that's cool Okay, so I think I have no idea what to do with these. long enough to do this oh you know what I think I'll just um, stick it in and staple it maybe I'll go around one time Gives it a little something there, and then up here, I'll stamp it with one of these Tim Holtz. Um, I could do condemned, I can do luggage, something that will fit across that. Um, actually too big. I like this. Um, well, let me use condemned. I have never used that word. As of yet. be enough cushion. I was watching somebody earlier and she was stamping postage marks or something and everyone she stamped, you know, it, oh, cute. it didn't come out because it, uh, she was doing it on like a flat surface and I know because I've done that. You have to have some kind of cushion. It works much better if you do. All right. So there's that. Okay, so now we've got that done. Oops. Look, why isn't it moving that it clipped? Okay, good enough. Could use a little ink on here. So 
So what time are we? Oh my gosh, it took 40 minutes to do that. It's just so deceiving. Time. All right, so this one I'm just gonna leave. This one we've got the little flip. I need something in that pocket. Okay, so this one, we've got a few minutes. Maybe I can do it. This one, um, I just um, took this and I opened up the envelope and then I folded it because I was actually going to just fold it up like that and make a tuck. And then I thought, why can't I fold this up and make this the, you know, like the envelope here. Let's see. No, that's not going to work. Let me see. Maybe this way. And then if I cover this part, you could, it could drop down and be a journal page, a little journal page. But here would be a pocket to put a journal card in. And I don't feel like I, if I do the reverse, I don't know, that would be like that. Well, I could probably put the journal card in there. That probably would be better. And this would be, oops, sorry if I got over there. This would be a journaling spot. Okay. And, uh, and that's kind of like writing space. But let me see if there's another better page to put that on. journaling spot as well. <clears throat> All right, this one would work. Like so. Yeah, okay. So, I need to cover all of this. I don't need to cover the inside. Okay. I'll just um, work as long as I can before I run out of time. So this front part can be covered with anything. I think that's not going to fit. I just wanted to use, you know, some of these scraps up because um, hmm. yeah, that's good for an accent, but not really to cover. I should have coffee dyed the envelope. That would have helped. kind of cool on it simply because it's going to go on that black and white page. Hmm.
thinking I could use now I think I think I'll ink all of that back over here so it looks like it's coffee dyed underneath more or less I like the stamps there, but they're just not the right colors, so I'm going to have to find some maybe different stamps. Okay. And if I turn this to this side, I think I will, because I just don't know. me so long. Okay, so I'm going to glue it down. Oh, I just hate it when it tears the opposite way. I was listening to Nick the booksmith just you know flipping through channels and she was on and um, let me get a glue stick and she was talking about you know how the paper has a um, I know my glue sticks here somewhere. What I do with it? They're both missing. lid. That's what I'm looking at. A lid with no... No, that's not the same lid. Oh, that lid. And I threw that glue stick away. Alright. This one goes on here. glue stick is really good. And um, I, it just now came to me where I ordered it. It was Taperology that has the big ones. Um, Amazon doesn't have the big, um, you know, the giant size. And um, I was going to order it yesterday um, online and I could not remember the name of the company because I haven't bought there for a long time. And it's Taperology. Okay, so there's that. And this is going to get a thumbnail um, here. We'll just do a little one. Oh, not that little. Here I thought um, I have the stamp book. Am I out of time? Oh, just about. And I was wondering if I had any like black stamps. Those are dark, not black, but. Eisenhower 
is pretty black. The stamp, it's like a dark, dark gray. Although I kind of like this this one here better. Um, oh, here's two little deers. No. Dark Queen Elizabeth. I think I'm just going to use these two and I'll just leave that little purple peek out. Look at all these stamps, you guys. I mean, they're all the same. It's like every letter, whoever had this, I bought this at a thrift store. Actually, I think I, I got it at the Goodwill. I'm not sure now. I'm just checking to see if he had, if this person had bigger. Oh, look at those. I think those. I don't know. I like them, but I don't. They're almost just a tad too big. All right. I haven't really like looked through this book. Winter Olympics, 1972. That's an old stamp. It might be worth something. I should look these up. Okay. I think I'm just going to do these guys. Because they're not, they're not black, but they're not, um, they're not that brown. It, you know, they're kind of blackish brown. All right. Still got glue on the back. I keep thinking this is Eisenhower and it's not. I don't know who it is. La Granada? Looks like. It's not La Granada. I want to say that's in the Caribbean or somewhere. Or no, that's... I'm thinking out by Spain. Granada, the country. Granada. Okay, so I'm going to leave it at that today. And I'll go ahead. Basically, you're going to... You understand what I've done here. unglue this. <laughs> so I'll make this plain for journaling and then finish covering this. But this one will be, this will be glued down. And then we'll have a place for a tag. I like that idea. All right. Wish I'd gotten more done today. All right, I'm just going to clip that there so I know it goes there. I like that. Um, so, um, my tip for today is I don't. Now this looks pretty messy because I got paint on it, but I don't know about you guys, but I hate to open the. I mean the um, baby wipes. You have the big bag of them, and that tops open, and then you pull it out, and you have to sh shut it, and then put it away, because it takes up a lot of room. And I put my baby wipes in a jar. And now this doesn't even have a seal. But these will stay wet. Well, they'll stay wet as long as I leave them in here. 
because I've had them in here for, you know, weeks and they don't, they don't get uh, dried out. So, you know, if I'm washing my hands or wiping my hands off like this, and then as soon as you don't use it, you th set it on the side, it's it's um, dried out and you, it's really not been used that much. So I just put it back in and I put the lid on it and then I sit over here on my uh, shelf and um, I'm good to go. So if you had a, you know, a pickle jar, a um, baby jar, um, one of these kind of, you can get them at, you know, any dime store. Uh, well, they don't have dime stores anymore. TJ Maxx or one of those stores. Um, anything with, with a, a lid on it. A sugar bowl would work. That would be cute to have on your desk, something cute. So that's my tip for today. I don't know if, I know, I think Jody um, mentioned that she does that uh, now that she saw me do it. So I hope that's a good little tip for you. Uh, give it a try. What, what do you got to lose? It's just, you know, a pickle jar you could use. Anything you can just tighten the lid up after you pull it out. And then you don't waste so many because I can use, I have four in there. I usually use four to five at a time in my jar. And I wait till the very last one is, you know, so dirty that I, I can't use it anymore. Um, but anyway, so thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to... Um, comment, hit the like button, um, all those things help my channel. Uh, subscribe if you're interested in, you know, uh, hearing from me on a regular basis. If you put the notification on, you'll hear, you'll know when I upload something. Um, but um, I'm having fun, just kicking back and working on these journals. They're just taking me a little longer as I get older, I think. So, just bear with me. All right. I'll talk to you soon then. Bye.